Storm's getting upon us now. All right, so now we're in the storm. We're down below. Oh, and it's dark over there. Gosh, do you want to pull over? Wow. We should call it. can hear the, the birds singing this morning. I was up a little bit earlier and then I got really cold so I had to get back into the sleeping bag for a little while. Elsa's out there somewhere looking for bluebirds. We'll have uh, coffee here pretty soon and, and breakfast burritos. And then we're gonna look, go look for the Mustangs. It looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day out. Can you hear all the birds singing? see some Mustangs. didn't go to that other end like the other two bands did. That's what I'm saying.
one's rubbing against that other one, getting a good itching. Oh yeah, they're all coming. Huh? I'm just sitting here waiting on horses. We had our snack. It's resting. Just waiting by this water hole. Tombstone water hole. Lots of robins in the area. And hoping that we find some horses coming down here. Thought we were skunked once and they just came barreling down that hill right in front of us. We hear horse hoofs. Somewhere over that top. So Granite's there in the middle of, these, of her offspring. That's Shaman's mare from a long time ago. And that's Commander, who's taken them over. What a beautiful band. There's a little baby behind Granite. I think most of them were just the offspring, and then um, I think Flair, I think Flair, was it Flair or Caramel that followed him, and I think he took a mare or something, but he's only really had Granite and their offspring. No, we haven't, we haven't seen them for a while, they look great. There, I looks just like granite. Oh, yeah. So that's the red bow band there, still with Hawkeye. And then there's the Merlot band.
that was awesome. Larkspur. Thank goodness that breeze is blowing. Because 90 degrees is a little too hot to hike in, but the breeze makes it way doable. And uh, as we look on our trail back, we can see there are some mustangs. Here's the Valor Band. There's the Valor Band. Valor's on the right. He's got a few babies in his band. Carson is the one on the left. He comes from the Nevada band. Let's see cheddar. Yum. Throw some green salsa too. Sunset is going, going on. I just turned the dogs. Oops. And our living room. So great to see Stallion Solomon with a new mirror. He has a bum leg he's had since about 2012. But he's been doing real well neat to see him running through our camp. And there they go. Ranger. Good old boy. Stallion for as long as we've known him, gosh. Who knows how long he was a band stallion before we started tracking him since 2011. So yeah, there's Twister there. Oh, and Rango's still there. Good deal. Uh-huh. He's kind of got her attention. Uh -huh. That's what I was saying it sounds like. I mean, either he's been banished over there or he's just a lone bachelor looking to just follow another group around. Yeah, he's not, he's not getting any closer than that. Up here. 
Twister doesn't want that yeah. young colt <laughs> anywhere near that baby. So Twister's oh, kind of... So acting like a lieutenant. Yeah. Oh, wow. He's yeah. getting him back to Look the band. <laughs> what a good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Oh, holding this heavy camera up in the air is <laughs> going to be a terrible video. Oh. It's going to be a terrible video. <laughs> I have to put it back down on the ground. Yeah, oh, now Ringo's turn. Oh, oh, there goes Twister. Yeah, they're chasing, trying to banish that one guy. And now he's going back for the baby, too. Another lieutenant. Oh, did you get that? I did. Huh? I hope I did. I think so. You go back to your mama. There's a banished colt. He's, I think, a three-year-old. He kind of keeps at a safe distance from them. But he keeps them in his sight, so the various lieutenants have been booting him out. He's watching them right now. But he won't get much closer. It's hard, but this is part of their society where the colts are old enough to move on and form other bachelor bands and then move on to have their own families. That's for genetics. Like that, but it's sad at the same time because they don't understand. And then, band. I'm gonna try and keep this steady because I'm trying to balance the camera too at the same time. The band is way over there now, so he's quite a ways away. Nothing to hide behind. These are wildy wilds. Nothing to hide behind. So we're kind of in a rock and a snake, like a sagebrush. We're still a ways out. We think we know horse behavior and can predict them, and we waited for them to come to the water hole, but they're not. We had a long time, so we are coming to them. These guys are way out here. There's a couple pockets of, of uh, Mustang vans. So we're gonna go see ourselves. There's some up at the top of the hill. It's a little basin area, but they're kind of liking it there and taking their own sweet time to the water hole, so we're gonna go to them instead. Yeah, the wind's blowing so hard. Yeah. But he, he looked like he had a racing stripe uh -huh. over his over his pole. Oh. And we kind of hit a Mustang Mecca out here.
guys curious. from a different direction is what he's doing. He's gonna do a horseshoe shape around us to get a good width. 